G'day guys, Troy Kiligoski here. I've got my brother, Denver Kiligoski, with me behind the camera. Say g'day, Dan. G'day, guys. Now, today is new for us. Today is exciting for us. What's so exciting about today? Today is the start of K Brothers Pythons. K Brothers Pythons is the merger of my private snake collection, Codom Carpets, with Den's private snake collection, Den Pythons. We are merging the two collections together and forming K Brothers Pythons. What do I do? I do carpet pythons. I love the genetics in the carpet pythons. I also do olive pythons. I love the albino olive pythons. My brother Denver, green tree pythons and black-headed pythons. Now when I say black-headed pythons, I don't mean yeah, run-of-the-mill black-headed pythons. I am talking some of the best in the world. Don't believe me? Keep watching because we'll have the footage to back it up. A big part of K Brothers Pythons is going to be YouTubing. Now YouTubing is new to us, we, this is our first shot at it. Um, but just like breeding snakes, we got better as time went on, and like our YouTubing will get better as time goes on. So stick with us, we're going to have some cool stuff to show you. Alright, let's get into it. Alright guys, we're here in the hatchling room. As you can see behind me, we've got a few empty spots. Trust me, over the next couple of episodes, you'll see this thing fill up. Not only will you see this one fill up, you'll see the next one and the next one fill up. We've had an awesome year. We're expecting some cool jags to come out, and I think we got our first one. Where are you? Now, this little fella here, we went through and we dragged him out this morning. He was hatched last night. Now, we are super excited about this little fella. If I get them to come in and have a look, have a close up on him. You can see he's a little bit small but you see the coloration in him he is as light as light. Absolute little screamer. Now this little guy here little jaguar carpet python. Now the jaguars are an incomplete dominant mutation meaning you cross your jaguar python with your normal wild type python half your clutch is going to come out being a little jaguar. Now I'll grab, a, um, I'll grab one of his clutch mates out because we're super excited. Why? You're about to see why. Let's get this clutch mate out. Now taking nothing away from the clutch mate, who is an awesome little jagging himself. I mean a little tacker. When you have a look at the colour comparison, and I'll try and maneuver these ones around. When you have a look at the colour comparison in these two animals, like that light one is just an absolute screamer. Now the male that we used to create these jags was an ivory jungle jag. The mode of inheritance behind the ivories I'm not 100% sure. I just know that they're classed as, as ivory jungle jags because they're not black and yellow like, like your normal jungle jags. They're, they're actually a black and white jungle jag but they aren't gelatins. They've been classed as, as ivories so is this something from the ivory line well the ivory was a dad but is it something else we're not 100 percent sure we're gonna it's gonna take us a few more years of breeding to work out if there is something there in that ivory line so let's get these guys back and go get dad out all right guys we're back in the breeding room and we're about to get our ivory jungle jag out now this ivory jungle jag you'll see what i mean by the by the term ivory this is his brother up above like typical black and yellow jungle jag Let's get Dad out and give you a look at him. All right, grab me trusty hook that I've had for the past 17 years. Yeah, first hook I ever built. Can't beat it. Come here, Dad. So this is Dad, one of our bodiest jungles that we've got, but um, absolutely gorgeous animal. I mean, like the colours in him are just just insane. So did this guy? You know, like, did the colours from him have something to do with with throwing that um, that spectacular little hatchy next door? We're not 100 percent sure yet, but either way, this guy's absolutely gorgeous. So let's go through. Oh, I can feel him starting to squeeze up near. He's um, it's just outside of breeding season. These guys are uh, these guys are just getting back into their food response mode now. This guy's starting to squeeze up. I don't know if you guys can see it. The fingers are starting to go a bit purple. He's starting to sniff around. I better get this guy back before he uh, before he latches on. How are you going to get that back in the cage? Um, uh, <laughs> I haven't worked that part out yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 
right guys, this is mum and this is my little brother Den. Say g'day Den. G'day guys. Now if Den's looking a bit nervous, that's because he's trying not to cop a bite to the face here. This is mum of that little Archie next door. Now mum was, uh, mum was produced by a hypo-coastal carpet python cross high yellow diamond python. So a pretty specky cross if you ask me. We, uh, we didn't do the cross ourselves, we actually bought this animal in as a purpose breeder and, uh, and I'm thinking it was a pretty good move. This is mum's second year of, of breeding for us at K Brothers Pythons. The first year was uh, she was crossed with a jungle jag. This year we crossed her with the ivory jungle jag. So absolutely happy with the outcome of this year's breeding. And we're just going in for a bit of a close up on mum there. Pull this body together for you. And Without there she is. Whoa. Bit of blood from a little bit of a nick that Den took from Mum just a minute ago, and that is gorgeous, Den. Absolutely Stunning gorgeous, it. mate. Beautiful girl. So feel free to throw her back before you cop another one she's if you want. Calm down now. She's got that bite out of the road. She just wanted to make someone bleed today, hey? She's happy now. All right, guys. That's it for us for our first episode. Hope you guys got a real kick out of it, eh? Because we had a blast making it. So on the next episode, we'll be over at Denver's place going through, cutting some of his blackheaded python eggs and, and having a look at some of the blackheads that he's working with over there. Earlier on in the show, I said that Den's got some of the best blackheads in the world. Make sure you tune in for the next episode because you're going to see him. Thanks for watching, guys. All right, guys and girls. This is, um, this is... Uh, <laughs> All right, guys. This is me little brother Den. Say good day, Den. Good day, guys. And this is Mum. <laughs> you want to go again? If you want. Uh, ow, ow, ow. <laughs> Sorry, little kiss. Didn't wrap. Didn't wrap. <laughs>